As of the weekly reset on the North American realms, dual spec is now available for the 20th anniversary servers. Once you reach level 40, head to your class trainer and you could purchase this for 50 gold. Without a doubt, a really good change for the game and I'm all for quality of life updates. Anything Blizzard is willing to throw at us that's going to improve the quality of the game and just make it more fun for everybody, I'm all for it. I mean, for the longest time, if you guys don't remember, we didn't have enemy cast bars. You had to have an add-on to do it. It's now a default setting you can change in your settings right now. For the longest time, you didn't have that. You had to go and download an add-on or you just didn't see enemy cast bars. It's one of the no changes things that players just seem to completely overlook. Fundamentally just a flaw within the game design. Plenty of things I could give examples of, but that's just one. And obviously instant mail, we now have that, right? That's a, that's another thing that should have just been a thing by default. But of course, you know, you had the no changes crowd that really just wants to play that one specific version of the game. And you know, it's on Classic Era if you really want to just play that. Now with dual spec not having any limits, I do worry and have concerns that the game will be a bit more optimized instead of raids and PvP, especially in the open world. Without having any kind of cooldown on dual spec, players are just going to be running around in their PvP specs, and if you're not doing that, you're going to kind of be at a huge disadvantage. So there's going to be that that's obviously going to have that implication. I would easily fix this by just adding it to where you can only swap instead of a major city or a rested area, and then that completely alleviates a lot of that pressure in the open world. Especially instead of raids, being able to optimize the raids to like switch back and forth between certain specs, that's just not fun. That's not the way that Classic really functions, and it's ultimately a bad thing for the game. You could add a, like a one hour cooldown to it, that would be completely fine. Say you have a DC or something and you need another healer to dual spec, that's fine. I think that's perfectly good for the game. But if you're able to swap back and forth throughout the raids, get ready for healers to have a DPS spec for certain fights where you don't need healers, get ready for your mages to swap between fire and frost for molten core, just so you do a little bit more DPS to make the raid that much easier. And you may think that only the 1% players are going to be doing this. I mean, you could look at the trickle down effect with world buffs and consumes and everyone is following the meta. Everyone, even the casual and the below average players, they're all doing it to make the raid easier which isn't necessarily a bad thing to make the raid easier, but it does fundamentally change how much fun the game will actually be. I'm sure some players are going to disagree with me here, but I think that dual spec is good for the game. Don't get me wrong when I say that it does have its downsides and its negatives. I just wanted to point those out and outline them to players that seem to be overlooking some of the flaws that can come with dual spec. To wrap things up, I think dual spec is a great addition to Classic WoW. I do see the downsides and the potential flaws that it has, an easy fix would be just to do what I said and only be able to swap within those rested zones or give a one hour cooldown inside of raids. That would fix a lot of the issues that are going to arise once we step into raids and as more players hit level 60. But yeah, other than that, I think dual spec is great. I think that changes are good for the game and that any kind of positive change that's going to make the game more fun or more accessible to more players, I'm all for it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Comment down below what you'd like to see next, and as always, I will see you in the next one.